I did not like Aiden. Not at all. Why not? I thought he was immature about what happened in Baku. I'm, like I never really got over it. He was aggressive on track and the paddock talks. He just wasn't happy at Connor Sport. Thought he was too good for the team. He just had a bit of an attitude problem. It's already complicated. And I've told you they don't need to know. Well, it's your call, of course. But the dishonesty makes me uncomfortable. We'll talk about it later. Yes? Let's make this quick. Or maybe we could give Casper a bit of our time. This wasn't scheduled. What, are you too busy for us now? Just tell them, Casper. Andreo, please. Can we get started? Yeah, Aiden's got a meeting at Mercedes he needs to get to. Enough! Enough! Okay? This... This is what we have to talk about. It has to stop, understand? If we can't pull together now... If we can't pull together, we are finished. Wait, what does that mean? Andreo? It means that if we don't finish fifth or higher, Butler Global will pull funding. And I don't think we'll find an investor to replace him. Not now. Wait, what? Casper? Yeah, it's true. Well, then we're finished. Andrea? We're finished. So yeah, Dad brought me onto the team and then immediately threatened to shut it down. Why would he do that? It's kind of his thing. Okay, Kelly, I'm sure you've got questions, but we think we know what we're doing here. We've got information that says more rain's coming, and so, because we're the first ones to come and make this change, we can turn it into an advantage. So on your outlap, let's make it all count. Copy that. Overtake button more, it's time to utilize some of this energy. Come on. Aiden's in the pits. Aiden in the pits. Disabled by the stewards. DRS will be offline. Wait for further updates.
anticipate an end to this rain in around five minutes. Okay, gaps of the car ahead is 2.2 seconds. Track's drying, but it's going to take a while to clear the standing water offline. Don't start thinking about slicks just yet. Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining, five laps of fuel left. Our gap behind is 2.1 seconds. Not a perfect situation, but I don't think we've got cause to move on to a different tyre yet.
the stewards have now enabled DRS. DRS is now online. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. Expected, no rain expected for the time being. Drives definitely seem like the fastest tyre at the moment. We've only got one lap of fuel remaining. Congratulations, Kelly. You keep going like that, you might just prove me wrong yet. Kelly? Well, we said at the time that it might have been too soon, but in hindsight, Connor Sport really did make the right call. Mayer made the pit stop, changed to wet tyres ahead of everybody else. That was a real turning point of the race. Yeah, you've got to get these decisions right, and not everyone did today. It's great to see Connor Sport taking their chances like that. Wonderful race by Mayer. If they want to improve on last season, they've got to try and do something different. Well, they did that today. They timed it well. Maya, well, she continues to impress. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy with what they were able to achieve out there today. Caddy, great race. What do you mean, prove you wrong? I was just trying to congratulate you, that's all. Prove you wrong about what exactly? I didn't mean anything by it. I was just saying well done. By reminding me how little you actually believe in me. Callie. You are a piece of work. But it was a great race. You said you'd keep him away from me. I'll talk to him. How is he getting involved on comm? Well, he didn't ask, he just did it. Yeah, he'll do whatever he wants until someone stops him. <gasps> I said I'll talk to him. That was a great result out there today. Let's forget about your father, okay? Yeah. Good. Looks like he's found someone else to talk to anyway.
Casper. Hey, look I've put measures in place to clamp down on who can access Team Radio now. Thanks, I guess. Hmm. Look, it turns out your father talked Mark into it. Says something like, You're not going to keep me off Team Radio on my own team. <sighs> yeah, well, I guess Mark can be a bit of a pushover at times. Um, look, I've stopped Davidoff from attending this press thing later, so that's something at least. Oh. Thanks for that. How did he take it? Eh, didn't like it. I think he sees all of this as publicity for Butler Global. Yeah, sounds like Dad. Yeah. Look, I'll stop by later too, so see you there. See you there. Mum, Kelly, I just got your text. Prove him wrong, he's got a nerve. He really gets to me, Mum. I know I shouldn't let him, but I can't bear it. Him and his little games. Call him out on it, Callie. Say something. I did. I spoke to him. And? He said he didn't mean anything by it. He said I did well today. Unbelievable. What else do you expect? An apology? I... I don't know what to do. You keep driving, Callie. That's all you can do right now. The rest is just fluff. If only it were that simple. Oh, fair point. Don't envy you, darling. Not one bit. I'll leave you be. Bye, Mum.